Hello, Ryan here, AK Mac, and welcome. In this video, we take a look around Port Tresla, which is coming in Alpha 3.8. As always, a huge thank you to all my patrons. It is because of these guys that I get to make these kinds of videos, and they are very much appreciated. If you do enjoy my content and would like to help make it even better, follow the link to my Patreon page below. So this is just some pre-recorded footage of Port Tresla, which is a large rest stop orbiting the new Babbage landing zone on Microtech. The frame rate remains great, but there are some lag spikes and a lot of jittering. Uh, potentially this is just due to the server-side OCS tech that might need a little more work as it is the first iteration. I'm sure they'll get it all cleaned up eventually, so I hope you can ignore it for now. Anyway, these stations serve as the main gateway to planets landing zones, meaning that if you arrive in a large ship, you don't have to fly down to the landing zone. You can dock it at the station and then maybe take an AI controlled shuttle down to the surface and then back up again when you need to get out of there. This will save a lot of time, a lot of effort and UEC and fuel as well, because we all know taking a big ship from planet side up out of atmosphere is a real pain in the ass. So I'm glad they've brought these in. Each planet will actually have its own as well, which is good news. Now you leave the easy habs, which I do like the fact that we can log in and out on these. The only downside is it seems very bland and undecorated. Hi. Very cold, okay. which might be the intention, uh, but I would like maybe a window out of the main areas. We'll see if they evolve any further. The lobby is nice with all the plants and such as you might have just seen. But each station that we have, each r, &R station, is slightly different and features its own layout and design. But the shops will be very much similar. There are going to be some independent shops, so not just main brands that you see everywhere. Some independent people might have opened up a weapon shop and have different stock, like not branded stock like Anon and Reese and so forth. You also notice that a lot of them are open fronted, which they say is to get them more inviting. Uh, instead of having to go through a door and just having walls and doors everywhere, you get to see it breaks up the, the art style and it does look a lot nicer. Now something to keep in mind as we're walking around, which is coming in 3.9, is that we will get the derelict versions of these stations, which could require you gaining access to not only the space station itself, but staff areas, engineering decks, opening up to so much more than just what you see here. So they are a lot bigger than what they are. A lot of the places you just can't get to because it is staff only. You can also see the fine terminal, so you're able to pay off any crimes or violations. These are all located near the admin offices on planets and in space stations. It looks like I have, for some reason, got a parking violation, which I never even realized. Uh, it's two hours away from being escalated, so it's a good job I did catch it now and get it rid. Now, there are plenty of other rooms and spaces that appear to not really be in use as such. Maybe they'll have a purpose later. We'll have to wait and see on that. But heading upstairs, you follow the station through more areas, and you can even see sort of engineering areas, maybe doors that you can eventually go through. with. If nobody's there, you could hack your way through maybe. But again, keep in mind that one day these are going to be derelict. May, may contain pirates, they may contain creatures. Think along the lines of alien isolation. A lot of investigation missions will take place in derelict stations as well, where you've got to try and find clues and try and progress further. Pushing on, you make your way through the food court area. An amazing station hologram. Uh, plenty of food options as well. Something a bit novel but I do like is how some of the food locations, some of the, like the burrito place and the noodle place has its own themed music. Not necessary, but it's a nice touch. On the lower deck, you can see there is more seating, a nice bar as well. It does have the feeling of a service station where you can pull up off of the motorway and it's sort of kind of nice to have that feeling to it as it's the purpose of this place. Obviously, right now, food and eating is not really necessary, but it is set up for when the player status version 1 system comes in, which is hunger, thirst, and temperature. We saw a lot of this at the CitizenCon this year. That is, I think that's 3.9, but, you know, things can move. Naturally, there is a bar with a pool table and many arcade machines, which, although you can't use either of these at the moment, they will have a pool mini game set up eventually. And also, I'm sure a lot of these 8-bit style games that CIG have developed for the release of ships like the Vanguard Hyperforce uh, will 
become games that we can play in the game at these arcade stations, which is going to be very cool. Anyway, that is Port Tressler. There are many other r r stations dotted around in Stanton, each with a unique layout but similar in design for now. There is going to be other variations of station designs. r r is a brand at the end of the day, and they will look similar to a degree, but in the future, more brands and even independent space stations will come out adding a lot more variation. Also, we will be getting various station types, not just space ports. Think refineries and cargo depots, each one serving its own purpose and each one having a derelict variant too. Now, these stations are great for what they serve and externally they do look great as well. I do remember CIG saying that firstly, they'll create the exterior, then they'll create the interior and then eventually they'll hook up the external and internal so that they make sense. So where you're looking at on the outside will be the same inside very much how the ship interiors are all fully realized as well whether this is still the idea i don't know but i have no reason to think they would have changed their minds on that so eventually they'll get hooked up and they will make sense anyway do let me know what you think of these new space station interiors they are very cool in my opinion and i can't wait to see even more vast space stations all for us to explore either fully realized or derelict Make sure you do subscribe for more Star Citizen content and hit that like button if you think Microtech is a cool planet. No pun intended there. Uh, follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrothersryan. My Instagram and Twitter links are below. Thank you so much to my patrons again. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.